Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Phasmophobia. Another weekly challenge is up. We have Technophilia today. For this week, we've thrown out all those prehistoric items. This contract is all about technology. Correctly find the ghost in Bleasdale Farmhouse. So we have all of the electronic items that they've gotten rid of the last time. And we are going to get right on into it. Please, if you do so, have, if you haven't done so, subscribe. Please do so. Like the video if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. Let's get into this challenge mode. All right. So that is the list that we have. It looks like all the electronic items. Tier 3 flashlight. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, tier 3 UV. <sighs> tier 3 thermometer. Lovely. Uh, so we're clearly missing uh, the book. We're missing smudge sticks, <laughs> candles, all those good things. Who do we have today? We have Ellen Lancaster. Oh, that's a that's a famous name. Uh, we got a few things. Pretty much just go. Okay, so we have the breaker location. Okay, wonder if we have uh, lights and stuff this time. It's gonna be a very good question. Oh, they gave us night vision. Oh, that's sweet of them. All right, so let's go ahead and get in with the UV. And, um, I'm going to assume EMF and, well, I guess we're going to bring in the camera. Let's try for the main stuff. So, they gave us, uh, night vision. So, Bleasdale, um, not a map that I'm particularly fond of at all. Get in and find the breaker. It's on the left side, as far as I can tell. Okay, we have a door open here. I wonder if that means this is the ghost room. Well, last time we had one of the ones like this, it was the ghost room, so keep that in mind. I know it was off to the left side, so I assume it is back in this corner. I don't exactly know where the breaker is in this house at all. Oh, oh I assume it's back here, then. Yeah, there you are. Breaker on. I don't know what the uh, burn rate is of sanity or anything like that, so we are going to try to be cautious. And uh, let's figure this out. I'm going to start in that first... Wait a minute. I didn't turn that on. Okay. I... Oh, Jesus. Okay, the ghost is clearly in this room. We got EMF. <laughs> Jesus, ghost. Okay. All right, let's drop everything and <laughs> let's let's get some evidence. Well, that was uh, not particularly difficult to find the ghost room. And we, oh, that looked like EMF five. Okay, ninety-two percent. Okay, so it seems like an average drop. Uh, let's grab that. Let's grab the thermometer. Let's grab dots. I should actually grab the uh video camera but having the um tier three night vision makes that a lot easier to be able to just run in and out we do have hiding of course behind the clock there which is nice shut this off just because it's loud because we're gonna have another loud thing going on in a second here anyway uh where are you are you here are you close are you nearby how old are you i would assume it's uh three evidence as well where are you are you here? Are you friend? Close to oh, okay. <laughs> that made me jump. Okay, well, we got our first evidence already. Let's check for freezing. I don't know what's going on with my mouse, why the right click is so weird right now. <laughs> huh. I don't know. Uh, it, oh, wait. Oh, hello, dots. <laughs> okay. Okay, we have dots. We have that, and that's it so far. Do we have fingerprints? Get the third piece of evidence already. Okay, we don't have anything else. Can you give me a sign? Can you do something? Can you show yourself? Oops, I did not mean to do that. I was checking my right click. <laughs> there we go. 
Okay, we have dots and we have spirit box. We have a wraith phantom. It can't be because it has shown us itself. Uh, we took a picture of the ghost and it clearly stayed there. Wraith. Uh, yokai and Dio. We could attempt the Dio. Let's see. Where did I drop the spirit box? That's a good question. Did I drop it in the corner? Have I lost the spirit box? It is very possible that I have already lost the spirit box. There it is. All right, let's try it. Where are you? Uh, how old are you? Where are you? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? How old are you? Where are you? Where are you? How old are you? Where are you? How old are you? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? How old are you? Where are you? Are you here? How old are you? Where are you? Okay, I would assume then no. Is that a double No, it couldn't have been a double throw. That was in the other room though. Alright, let's check. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. We have EMF5. How, how long was I going to wait for that? It's a wraith. There we go. And there's the first ghost out of the way already. Duh. But I'm not going to bother with anything extra. We have ourselves a wraith. And there you have it. First ghost out of the way. All right. Let's get back into it. Let's go ahead and do UV. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do head cam. And let's get in here. Oh, uh, let's look for the breaker. Oh, bloody hell. All right. So the breaker, of course, when it's in the attic, it is way up in the top of the steps. Okay, we have a door open right there. I don't know if the doors start closed, but we are going to be suspicious of that area first. Oh, these mannequins. These mannequins. Okay. Let's check that area first with that door that's open. Uh, 11.6. Oh, wait. No. Okay. It just seemed a little suspicious, you know? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get the lights turned on. We also have a door open here, too, so it looks like no, it's just kind of random where the doors are open or closed. Uh, we have 12 degrees there, 10 degrees here, 10 degrees here, 10 degrees here. Kitchen's also open. 9 degrees here. Is it in the back room? We have 7 degrees. I think we're getting close. I think we're getting very close considering I did not turn this light on. We are found we have found the ghost room. Okay. We have definitely found the ghost room here. Uh the temperature's gonna slowly dip is what it looks like here. Uh can you give me a sign? Can you do something? Yeah, we have the cold breath, so we definitely have the ghost here. Let's see, do we have any touches of anything? We have lighting and lockers in case we need it. Can you give me a sign? Nothing in particular happening. Oh, okay, let's go ahead and grab our equipment. <clears throat> Couple of unfortunate guesses on Mimic and Agorio. So let's uh, try our luck this time, huh? <laughs> Uh, we have zero activity on the board. Um, 
So as of right now, I think it's a safe bet. This is a shade. Uh, so we're going to look for freezing. We're going to look for UV, I believe. Oh, no, it's ghost riding. Um, we're going to grab spirit box. We're going to see. And if we don't have any activity or anything for a little bit, we are going to go ahead and say it's a shade. They are particularly annoying when it comes to finding evidence. Yeah, um, ghost is definitely in this room. Uh, we don't have any ghost orbs. Look around here. We have a door touch. All right. Let's see. Do we have fingies? We do not have fingies. Okay, and that also means that we can rule out fingerprints uh, since we are on three evidence. Okay, so let's rule out that rule out evidence. Where are you? Okay, you're here. Okay, so we've already got spirit box, and we can rule out UV. Let's look for temperature here. So I haven't heard EMF five. I'm kind of just listening for that. That was EMF two. EMF two again. We have one point one. 1.5 where's my UV there you are okay we do not have fingerprints yep so safe to rule out fingerprints Let's see if we get freezing it's cold but not particularly cold Oh, we have freezing. Uh, that was 0.6. Uh, anytime it hits below one degree, it will become freezing eventually. So we do have freezing temperatures. Uh, I'm just going to show it when it actually does hit freezing. One degree again. There you go. Okay. We do indeed have freezing temperatures. So we don't have UV. We have freezing temperatures. Uh, we also do not do have spirit box. So we have a Moroi on Rio and twins. Okay, so we are looking for ghost writing for Moroi, which we cannot get. Dots would be nothing, so we can shut off the dots. We're gonna look for ghost orbs one more time and then rule out. Um, camera's in the corner. So let's go ahead and look for orbs. We do have ghost orbs, indeedy do. Okay, we have our evidence. We are good to go. Let's get out of here and go on to the next one. So we have our ghost orbs. We have an on Rio. Uh, we did look for ultraviolet and it was not ultraviolet. So that rules out a mimic. Uh, so luckily we got the evidence that we need to rule out a mimic this time. All right, let's get out of here and go to the next one. We have an Onrio. And there you go, guys. There's the second one. All right. Let us move on to the next. Okay. I'm going to bring the same equipment I did last time. That seemed to work. Let's also look for the breaker right away here. It is upstairs again. Let's go upstairs. So the open doors are not an indication of where the ghost is. However, it is near that area is what I have seen. It's typically near that area. Just going to hit this as I go along. 5.5. I don't know how cold it was outside, though. That's... Not something I looked at. Oh, they, that mannequin. All oh, these mannequins, they, they get me. If you ever watch any of my streams and stuff, you will know how much I hate the mannequins. <laughs> that is for another time. Oh, we have a throw. I was in the bathroom. Okay, we have the ghost room.
quite a bit of activity already. Couple of throws. Let's check temperatures. Uh, we have seven degrees in here. This is not the ghost room. The ghost room is next door. Look at that. Uh, it is on the other side. Yep. This could be twins. Uh, that is a hell of a lot of activity. We have 2.8. Let's see, are we gonna get freezing? 1.7. Temperature's still dropping. Two. One. Are we gonna get point? We have freezing. And ladies and gentlemen, we have our first evidence. Can you give me a sign? Okay. I don't know if that was touching the window, but I think it was. Um, can you touch this door? Can you give me a sign? Can you touch the door? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we know what the ghost is. That, my friends, is the Yure's ability, the door slam. Either it will double touch the door with a like a tap tap, or it will literally slam the door in front of you. We will, however, double check or mimic. But I have a good feeling that this is a Yure. Oh. And that is the giveaway that this is a Yure. That was a 15% sanity drain right there. Um, I am going to go ahead and call this a Yure. Uh, a Mimic cannot drain your sanity 15% using, using the Yure's ability. So we have a Yure on my hands here. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We do indeed have a Yure. That was pretty good. Yeah, the Yuri's ability, of course, is the door slam. And uh, a Mimic cannot lower your sanity 15%. A, a Mimic can use that ability, but it could only lower it the normal 10% or 0%, I believe it is, for a door touch. It cannot use certain sanity drains like that. Well, anyway, we have nailed it. That is the three... Uh, Thank you guys for watching. Please like it if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, and if you like this uh, challenge and like to see more of this, please do leave a comment in the comment section, and we will catch you guys next time for the weekly challenge. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good night.